Oh my god. The man mentioned something about Wiley. You know? Right, so A A Y L D N, yeah, he's mentioned about my thoughts on Wiley. I was just watching that video today. Yeah. First of all, let me say something. You see the I don't know if you've seen the BBC interview with Wiley, and it's like the video I've seen is like um uh, a a five, a five, uh, like a five minute video or something like that. My man goes ham, you know, like he, why is video a mad man in it? Like, proper aggressive in it, yeah. The way you speak it to this blackie, I was thinking, blood. My man might have to just um, start banging out of him on this on this interview. Like the way while he was talking, if I was that the person who was interviewing him, boy, that's beef right then and there, and he disrespected him. He disrespected him. One sec, yeah, my battery on my laptop's gonna die, yeah? Let me go and get my charger. You never see a man fly up them stairs so quick to get a charger. Oh, yeah. Right, so... Man don't like to fling names or nothing like that. But there was someone else in America. They said something about some anti-Semitic and yeah. Yeah, I know that was quick. They said they said something about some anti-Semitic business, and basically what they did was they took back what they said, and apparently they apologized to whoever, rabbi or something like that. Right? You know me, I don't watch TV, I don't watch what's going on in the world or nothing like that. I just hear this from people, but apparently someone in America, we know who they are, we ain't flinging no names out here. They said something about anti-Semitic and the, Jew, the Jews aren't the real Jews and they took back what they said. Now, I think that's what Wiley's doing as well, isn't it? Yeah. But you're a fucking man, blood. Whatever you say, it sticks, it stays, yeah? Don't take back what you're saying, yeah? If I say something, I'll fucking mean it. I'm not backtracking on what I say. Because them kind of statements there, if you're saying, oh, the Jews are this or whatever, in it, yeah, but that's how you feel, fam. You're going to let, you know, your job and your career hold you ransom or the managers that you work for hold you ransom. If you've got enough balls to go on whatever platform, Twitter, Instagram, or on TV or some interview and talk what you say, what you actually believe, bro, stick to your guns, man. Come on, you're a fucking man. But you know why people like certain men in America, we ain't gonna fling no names, take back what they say when they're threatened with losing their job or losing their. Yeah, their career on TV. Because they got an employee's mindset. There's certain people out here, right? They're millionaires, you know. They earn a lot of money. But they still got an employee's mindset. We think, yeah, like when we see people like Drake and all these successful rappers and artists and stuff like that, we think, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're successful. They've made it. And, in their minds, right, they still feel like, yeah, they need to hold on to what they've got. Like, they don't feel like they can just go out and be, and be on their own. And that's an employee's mindset. People like, I don't want to fling names and all like that, but people like Drake, yeah, and all these people who, you know, work under a manager, they're just high-class employees. That's it. Because if you threaten to strip them of their job, strip them of their title, they'll panic. You just you still got an employee's mindset. You're just a millionaire, a multi-millionaire. You're a multi-millionaire employee. I can't rate no one that goes on TV, spit some stuff that they believe in, you know, say what they believe, right? And then they're gonna take it back just because they're threatened that they might lose their job. You're a grown man, you need to stick to your guns, man. I ain't taking back shit. All the things I say on YouTube, why? It's gonna have to stick. Mm -hmm. Unless I generally have changed my mindset on, you know, what I, you know, how I think. Because, you know, I do evolve as a person. And like maybe certain stuff that I've said 
you know, in the past or whatever, innit? I might have changed my mindset on that or whatever, innit? But, yeah, I'm sticking to my guns. I ain't gonna... Nah, I don't give a fuck. I don't care if I might lose my job or whatever, innit? That's how I believe. Who, who, who removed whose channel? Okay, so Wiley's YouTube channel got locked off. Raw oh, boy. That's kind of mad still. Boy, he better... He just needs to create a channel called Wiley Returns, yeah? Yeah? The return of the Wiley. Cut coyote or whatever, innit? Huh? But man for bounce back. Man for bounce back, man. How are you going to let people threaten you? And just because, man, listen, I'm going to express myself. I'm going to say what I want. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, you can't be taking back your chat, man. It's either you say it and you stick with it or you don't say it at all. I know a man, right? <laughs> I know a man who have said stuff in the heat of a moment. Yeah. And then they want to take it back. Yeah. No, fam, you say something to me, yeah, in the heat of the moment, I'm gonna take it personal because you would not have said that if you don't generally believe that. Yeah. It's the equivalent of, you know, when they say um uh drunk words are sober thoughts, yeah. When you say stuff when you're angry, that's how you really feel. So when you're not angry, that's what you think about me. And why am I going to want to hang around with someone who thinks like that about me? Like, I know a man, right, who um, they've, like, done removals or whatever, in it, And they've fallen out with people that they know. Yeah? And they've said, when they've had an argument with this person, all you're going to be is a removal man. Yeah, you have no ambition or whatever, in it. That's in an argument, yeah? I don't give a fuck if it's in an argument, yeah? I don't care in what context you're saying that's what you generally think of me. Yeah? You didn't just, that thought didn't pop out of your head. That's how you generally think of me. So there's no way we're just going to, you know, sweep that under the carpet and be cool again. If you think, oh, all you're going to be is uh, just a removal man, or all you're going to be is a postman. No, nah. no, nah, you better stick to your guns, innit? Yeah? That's how women move. Or, oh, see, that's basically what a woman will do say stuff in the heat of the moment that they don't really feel yeah they don't really um they don't really think like that they just say something impulsively oh you know you're just going to be a removal man no nah. that means you're in your feelings if i say something to someone if i'm angry yeah, if i'm sad whatever that's how i generally think about you so if someone says something to me that i don't like in the here moment that's how i know that's what you think of me and we got a fucking problem Mm -hmm. You got a problem.